Today we will discuss the preliminary concept of earned value management or EVM. In this class you will learn a brief history of EVM, what EVM is all about, what are the different components of EVM, what are the different indices of EVM and how to calculate the find the indices of EVM. Also the inference and action to be done from the indices. It was originated in 1960. It was initially developed as a part of the program evaluation and review technique which we know as part for the US Navy's Polaris missile program. Formal integration of EVM, its concepts and techniques in project management practices started in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The US Department of Defense played a significant promoting and refining EVM as in 1967 the DOD issued cost schedule control system criteria establishing the principle of CVM and providing guidelines for its implement. EVM is a simple yet powerful tool for tracking the performance of a project with respect to its cost and schedule. With EVM we can tell whether a project is underperforming, on track or overperforming in terms of cost and schedule. With EVM we can also predict the cost variance, the schedule variance, the expected finish date and estimated cost of completion of a project. Let us now know the components of earned value management. These are planned value, earned value and actual cost. Now we will see one by one what are these components in detail. What is planned value? Consider that a project consists of a single activity. The budgeted cost of the activity is B per unit. You have planned to execute P1 quantities of the activity up to a specific point of time. So the planned value of the project at that specific point of time is budgeted cost of the work scheduled or what we call as BCWS that is equal to B into P1. B is the budgeted cost and P1 is the planned quantity up to a specific point of time. Next is earned value. For the same project, if you have planned to execute P1 quantities but end up doing P2 quantities of that activity then the earned value of the project at that point of time is EV which is budgeted cost of the work performed or BCWP which is equal to B into P2 where B is the budgeted cost and P2 is the actual quantity you have done up to that point of time. Note here the B is the budgeted cost and not the actual cost. You have to also get the actual cost that is incurred to execute the said activity up to that specific time. That is called the actual cost of the work performed in short ACWP or AC. Now let us see an example of earned value analysis. Before we go to a real life project example let us first understand the concept of a simple analogy. We have a car here and the car needs to travel 100 km in 10 hours. There is a distance and there is a time and the mileage of the car is 10 km per liter. But after the car travels for uh, 5 hours, we see that it has traveled only 30 km and yet to travel 70 km. The car had to go 100 km in 10 hours. So it should have completed 100 by 10 into 5 that is 50 km in 5 hours. But it has traveled only 30 kilometers. In 5 hours the car should have consumed 50 by 10. The distance to be traveled divided by the mileage that is 5 liter of fuel. This is called the planned value. But it has actually traveled 30 km only. So fuel consumption should be 30 by 10. That is the distance traveled divided by the mileage of the car that is 3 liter of fuel. This is called the earned value. Then let us consider that the car has actually consumed 2.5 liter fuel to travel this 30 km in place of 3 liter fuel. Then this is the actual cost of the work performed or ACWP. As a first step of EVM we need to prepare a plan for the project with clear start and finish dates for different activities. Let us consider a sample project to understand. Let us consider that in a project we have to do 1000 cubic meter of concreting in a time duration of 5 months. Let us consider the cost of executing 1 cubic meter of concreting is $600. So it is a budgeted cost of 1 cubic meter. So budgeted cost of 1000 cubic meter will be 600 into 1000 that is 6 lakh dollar. This is budgeted completion or BAC. Now say after 3 months you could execute only 400 cubic meter concreting in that project. 
So budgeted cost of 400 cubic meter will be 600 into 400 and that is 2,40,000 dollar. This is the earned value of the project after three months. That is the quantity you could actually execute into the budgeted cost of that activity. But how much you actually need to do as per the plan after three months in the project? Time elapsed is three months, which is 60% of the total time, five months. So you need to do 60% of the quantities, which is 60% of 1000 cubic meter, which is equal to 600 cubic meters. So budgeted cost of 600 cubic meter is equal to $600 into 600 cubic meter. That is $3,60,000. This is the planned value of the project after three months. Also, uh, if you have actually incurred say $2,50,000 in the project in these three months, then this is your actual cost in this project. Actual cost AC is equal to $2,50,000. So, from these three parameters EV, PV and AC, we can now calculate the cost performance index which is EV divided by AC. So, for our project CPI or cost performance index is $2,40,000 divided by $2,50,000 which is equal to 0.96. What is our conclusion from this 0.96 value of CPI? Since the CPI value is less than 1, the project is underperforming from the cost point of view. If it is 1, then it is on track and if it is greater than 1, then we can say the project is outperforming from the cost per point of view. The project is incurring more cost than its budget in this case. We can say that the project is 96% cost efficient with respect to the budget. Now what is serial performance index or SPI? This is EV divided by PV. For our case, it is $2,40,000 divided by $3,60,000 which is 0.67. And since this is less than 1, the project is underperforming from the schedule point of view also. If it is equal to 1, then it is on track. And if it is greater than 1, then we can say that the project is ahead of the schedule. In this case, the project is incurring more time than its schedule, so it is behind the schedule. We can say the project progress is 67% with respect to the schedule from this analysis. This is the earned value graph of this sample project, where the blue line is the cumulative planned value, the green line is the cumulative earned value, and the red line is the cumulative actual cost. The cost variance or CV is equal to earned value minus actual cost. So for our project, CV is minus 10,000. And schedule variance, SV is equal to EV minus PV. So in this case, schedule variance is minus 1,20,000. In the upcoming videos, we will learn more about the EVM of complex multi-activity projects and estimates at the completion of the schedule and cost of the project. Thank you. Follow for more useful information on project management and construction.